are going to talk about the age of Shakespeare. First, we will t talk about drama. And uh, today's this is just introduction to the A's and some important facts we will be talking about. And later, we will talk about the university wits. So the A's of Shakespeare was between uh, uh, me. We are particularly we will uh, be talking about drama. So the period for drama was 1568 to 1625. And the classical drama had three main characters in this age. Uh, tragedy ought to be pure tragedy in that uh, particular age. And that is, it should strictly avoid the inclusion of light and humorous episodes. The three unities of time must be followed. Unities of time, unity of place, and unity of action should govern the construction of play. There was little or no dramatic action in the drama. Theatre and stage, if we talk about, in 1576, the first playhouse was erected in London in Shoreditch. 1576 was the year when first playhouse was built. There were two kinds of theatres there. First was the private theatre, second the public theatre. In the second type of theatres, there were no scenery, so the absence of scenery necessitated the introduction of a large amount of explanatory reference and the audience has to be told it was dark or a hall or garden. So you can see that uh, the second one, public theater. In public theater, there were no facilities. Uh, so they used to tell if there was dark. So uh, this is dark in a hall or a garden. So here, uh, here it is resulted in the introduction of soliloquy and aside. So that's why uh, soliloquy and asides came into existence. So this was about theater and stage in. Uh, in the age of Shakespeare and drama. Now let's talk about university wits in this age. First was uh, who were university wits? Uni university wits were the group of writers who were graduated from uh, Oxford. So uh, here are the names of uh, those writers Kidd, Nash, Lily, Pele, Green and Marlowe. If you want to learn these uh, names uh, with the shortcut, you can learn them P G K L M N. P G K L M N. This is the shortcut to remember these names. First is uh, John Lilly, the leader of University Wits. John Lilly is called the leader of University Wits, and first time we find suitable blank words for comedy. Next was George Pillay. The Old Wife's Tale is the first dramatic literary satire in the English. In previous video, I have uh, given the example of their works or whatever they wrote. Robert Greene, History of Friar Bacon and Friar and Bunge in 1589. Thomas Laws, The Wounds of Civil War. Thomas Nash, Dido, The Isle of Dogs. Thomas Kidd, Spanish Tragedy, 1585, brought revenge theme to a stage. So, a Spanish tragedy was the work which brought revenge theme to a stage. You can see that in Hamlet too. Influenced, yes, it is written here. Influenced Hamlet and Webster's Duchess of Malfi. And uh, one device, play within play, was because of a Spanish tragedy or we can say because of Thomas Kidd. Uh, Christopher Marlowe, his most famous work, Tamburlin, uh, and uh, Tamburlin, father of English tragedy, Christopher Marlowe is called uh, father of English tragedy too. Dr. Foster's, his work, uh, his important works are Dr. Foster's, 1597, Edward II, 1593, first historical play in English. Edward II is the first historical play in English. The Jew of Malta, 1592, The Tragedy of Dido, The Queen of Carthage, 1594, Massacre of Paris in 1596. The protagonist Tamburlin is a Cynthian shepherd and he is savage but calmed down by his love, Janocrates. So this is uh, show, in short the Tamburlin. Uh, in next video we will be talking about all works by Shakespeare. If you like the video please uh, do hit the like button and write a comment. 
Thank you for watching this video. See you soon in next video. Good luck for your exams.